Well, at this depot, we only look after trains. Obviously, Alstom is a worldwide company, but just here, we just maintain and carry out maintenance and stuff and test it on trains. It's a 24 hour operation. Trains are coming through day in, day out. We have a team on in days, and then the team comes on at nights. Most of the testing and maintenance goes on at night time because the trains are running in service in the daytime. We have exam teams, we have four exam teams, and basically we do the heavy exam work on the Class 390 fleet, which is the Pendolino. We have um, a technician team who do more in-depth faults. Basically, I just manage, plan all the workload, plan how we're going to you know, accomplish the workload. From there, we, you know, if we do get any faults, we just make sure they're rectified before we, we leave the depot. So we have team member C's, they're mainly like forklift drivers. They do fueling, fuel all the diesel trains we have. Team member A's, they do like fitting, maintenance, you know, general inspections, testing on the trains. And then we have the technicians, they're like the main fault finders, diagnosing all the high, you know, the, the big faults. We have obviously production leaders, they help out the production managers, make sure, you know, the job runs smoothly. And then we have the production managers like myself, who actually plan all the work and make sure, and ensure that the work gets done and the trains go out safely. And then it goes up and up to the depot manager. At the minute we have four apprentices, two of us due to come out at a time, and we've just taken on another two apprentices which will start in September. We do a four year apprenticeship, they'll, they'll have a block release, so they'll go to college for say a month and then they'll come here and they'll, they'll work with different departments to get knowledge on each and every one of the trains because we have different fleet. Apprentices really, they need to be hands on, obviously they need to be enthusiastic, it needs to be mature because obviously there's a lot of high risk activities taking place here so you know safety is a big concern but yeah generally I say qualifications wise I'd say you know we need to at least five agencies to become an apprentice at Alston and then I'd look at you know the, the type of person they are you know if you seem like they're quite motivated you know enthusiastic and um, it, well generally if you have any experience as well hands-on experience is a good thing but you need a you know, an all-round skill, IT skills, you know, is important. We um, use computer-based systems on a day-to-day. -day. Technology is important because, well, basically it's ch changing all the time. We're always trying to improve the trains as a whole. Um, you know, we have High Speed 2 coming up, which is um, a, a new big thing, uh, which will be probably 2027. Obviously, we have a new thing like Train Scanner, which scans a train. You know, it's something to look forward to in the future. It's going to be able to scan and rectify faults before we even have a look at them. The rail industry is um, it's got a really bright future ahead because there's loads of work, for, especially for young people trying to progress the career. There's a lot of different engineering companies, which even if you get the qualifications you gain at Alstom, you will be able to walk in a lot of other job roles. If you want to join this sector then, maybe try and get some experience and hands-on. You don't always have to go straight from school. You could maybe do a course in college, you know, just do a basic engineering course. And then, you know, you're halfway there. 